Hey guys, Jeremy here, and I'm on the last day of my hemp tour of sorts of northern New South Wales. I'm back in Wingham at the Hemp House, but I've been up to Brunswick Heads and out to near Texas in um, southern Queensland or northern New South Wales on the border there. And um, yeah, done a few things, seen a retrofit house and seen a hemp farm and the processing. So here's a highlight reel and um, there'll be some more videos coming out about the specific um, places uh, in the coming weeks. Well, uh, congratulations Damien on retrofitting the shed and the project upcoming. Let's see how that goes as well. Um, but yeah, this shed is looking amazing. Um, final thoughts? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm fairly new to hemp creating. I've been a DIY home builder for a few years. This is about my fifth build. Um, discovered hemp creed about a year ago and have become somewhat obsessed by it, which many people do. Um, my first attraction to it was really just the performance. So I think when a lot of people build, they think of budget as their principal thing. Uh, but for me, it was actually about how do I get the best performance and how do I build a sustainable building that's still going to be here in three or four hundred years time. So there's a legacy from all of your effort and your investment into your home. So coming through to the bathroom. So here's the bathroom. We've got the hemp creek walls on two sides. You've got Jip Rock plastered walls with the Porter's stone wash on the other side. You've got the reclaimed Queenslander French doors that open out here to our beautiful veggie garden. Uh, the beautiful Northern Rivers in New South Wales, uh, and we're retrofitting a hemp house. So here we have Adam, Adam Abbott. He's an environmental scientist and a hempcrete home builder. And uh, he's just gonna have a little bit of a chat about the hemp that we've been working with. Go right. for it. Yeah, thanks. Um, well, this is this is hemp and you can, I, I love this stuff. It's, it's the best building material I've ever worked with. Uh, I've done a lot of research into different types of building. Uh, I looked into straw bale and went and helped out on a straw bale home. I've looked at mud brick and spoken to people about mud brick. I've also uh, looked at earth ships and went and looked at a couple of earth ships. And by far for me, hemp won out hands down. You walk into it, it's like a, a warm hug of a house. Here in uh, far north New South Wales on the border of uh, Queensland um, and off to visit our hemp farm. Uh... So here we can see the bales of hemp pile up here ready for processing. And we've, you can see the texture of this here see all the different fibers It's amazing to hear all the innovation that's going on with uh, hemp and by the team here at Ashford Hemp Industries. Um, what's next? Um, well, we've been working in this business now for about 12 years, and we've um, since that time, as I said, we've we've learned to um, to grow the hemp and uh, then build our processing machine. We've um, sold our uh, our first processing machine went down to Tasmania in. Um, uh, last year sorry and and from that um, the hemp housing in Tasmania has actually doubled in number so just a very quick update of where Ash and Jared are up to at their hempcrete structures well the hempcrete walls are finished at this lovely Wingham house eventually they'll be lime rendered on the outside and it'll be some feature walls on the inside. You can see some nice high quality windows here that have been beautifully framed in by the hemp and the lime render that's been applied. Well, I'm back in Sydney for now. Thanks for watching this quick show reel of my mini hemp tour of Northern New South Wales. My name's Jeremy Thomas. I'm a building designer and project manager and environmentarian, but I do enjoy the chance to get on the tools. Head to environmentarian.au. You can reach out to me via the Contact Us page or via social channels and we can start a dialogue about your project.
I'll be rolling out more hemp related videos in the coming weeks so please do hit the subscribe and notification bell button if you want to stay up to date with content and of course if you can like this video and make any comment that'd be great so the wider hemp community can all benefit from it ciao for now Jeremy of Environmentarian